Three U.S. crew members who died in an air tanker crash in Australia amid the country's bush fires were flying a California-based aircraft, according to a statement from the Office of California Governor Gavin Newsom. The C-130 Hercules aerial water tanker, owned by an Oregon aviation company, crashed while battling blazes in the snowy Monero region of southern Australia's New South Wales state, officials said. There was no immediate identification of the firefighters who perished, but the U.S. Forest Service shared the news with its public information officers throughout Oregon and Washington at 11 a.m. Thursday via a terse emotional email. The wildland firefighting community is a family and when there is a loss it is felt throughout the entire organization, it began. We extend our deepest sympathy to the families of the fallen. Newsom also issued a statement Thursday. We extend our sincere condolences to the families of the crew, their friends and loved ones, and our own Cal Fire family who worked, fought fires, and trained with the crew of Tanker 134, the governor said. Australia is facing its worst wildfire season ever, with tens of thousands of acres burned and at least 32 people killed, including the U.S. crew on Thursday. Scores of aircraft have been contracted to help fight the blazes. Colson Aviation of Oregon said in a statement that one of its C-130 Lockheed large air tankers was lost after it left Richmond in New South Wales with three aboard, carrying retardant for a firefighting mission. Newsom on Thursday identified the aircraft as Tanker 134, which operated out of Ramona, Calif, during the 2019 fire season. Spokeswoman Robin Baldwin of Colson, with headquarters in the Canadian province of British Columbia, declined to identify the crew members or say what U.S. states they were from. We ask for privacy at this time as we mourn the loss of our crew members. Baldwin said. On Friday morning in Australia, what was supposed to be a gracious farewell for some American and Canadian firefighting crews instead became a more somber occasion punctuated with a moment of silence for those killed. In New South Wales, Australians, Canadians and Americans joined together in a one-minute moment of silence for the three crew members. New South Wales police said the Americans were 42, 43 and 45 years old, but did not name them. It will be up to the victims' families to decide whether and when Australian officials may identify the crew members, police said. The crew was working on an active fire in a rugged, difficult-to-access area of New South Wales, where the mountains stretch into the neighbouring state of Victoria. It took hours for crews to locate the crash site. There was no immediate indication of what caused the crash, New South Wales Rural Fire Service Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons said Thursday. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau, the National Air Crash Investigator, and State Police will investigate the crash site, which firefighters described as an active fire site. The plane was one of more than 70 in the air battling blazes in the state that afternoon, under conditions that Fitzsimmons described as very hot, dry and windy. It was another very difficult, aggressive fire weather day which resulted in many of these fires spreading and breaking out, he said. Fire officials grounded all aircraft for the rest of the day following the crash. Fitzsimmons described the crew members as seasoned veterans, well known throughout the firefighting community and close with many of their colleagues. It is a confronting and sobering reminder of the inherent dangers and risks associated with firefighting as we've seen all too often unfortunately, Fitzsimmons said. The state's fire danger rating for many affected areas was lowered Friday as light rain and cooler conditions began to spread over the southern coast, where many of the fires have originated. That, however, has also lowered a smoky haze onto Sydney. Of the more than 70 bush and grass fires burning in New South Wales, fewer than half were contained, officials said. Colson has been working fires in New South Wales for the last four or five years, Fitzsimmons said. The Rural Fire Service has purchased one of the company's retardant dropping 737 jetliners for its own fleet and contracted with the company to maintain and operate it, he said. The fire service was also operating another 737 in New South Wales and a C-130 in Victoria, in addition to the aircraft that crashed Thursday. Santa reported from La Trobe Valley, Australia, and Sahagan from Los Angeles. The Associated Press contributed to this report.